The poll also showing Biden's approval rating for the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic also falling below 50% for the first time with 48% of Americans approving, 46% disapproving. Anything between there is, is I don't know. Joining us now is Republican strategist and federal attorney Vic Vajaj. Vic, uh, that's a good point that, that John brings up there. Um, and I'll have you, you, you touch on that. And also, again, the 44% approval rating, the lowest of his presidency in this recent polling. Well, that's absolutely right. And, you know, this lack of trust, which Wendy was so astute to point that out, she hit the nail on the head. It's not only Afghanistan and the failed withdrawal from the country. It's not only the response to COVID. It's not only the promise now to hike taxes amongst areas and demographics he promised he wouldn't, but it's a blanket umbrella loss of trust and credibility. And of course, that's going to hurt the Democratic Party when it comes to midterms next year. And this is the effect we see of presidential individuals, people who are past presidents and current presidents affecting the elections. For instance, here in California, Governor Newsom just defeated the recall attempt. And the entire campaign from the left was based on an anti-Trump platform. So presidents actually have a significant amount of effect, even after office. Biden's effect while in office will definitely reap very little rewards for their party in midterms. Well, keep in mind, uh, this administration promised transparency. And yesterday, again, we saw the president address the nation and then walk away from the podium without taking any questions.